I've gathered up all of my blue art materials and I'm going to challenge myself to try and create a piece of artwork only using blue. So let's see how I got on. I gathered up all of my art materials, I had a good look through my art studio and selected every single piece of blue I could possibly find. So I have oil pastels, I've got acrylic paints, I've got watercolours, I have got alcohol markers, I've got everything that you could possibly think of and I've gathered it all up and I'm going to get started on this piece of artwork. So I've pre-sketched out in my sketchbook, I'm doing this as sort of a sketchbook challenge, I am going to be drawing Wednesday Adams, and it's from the iconic dancing scene which has taken social media by storm and I just thought this would be a really fun piece to create. I also thought it would be really good to try using blue for this piece of artwork. I did consider purple because I think Wednesday Adams, purple, it goes hand in hand really, however I don't really have that many purple art materials. To get started with this piece, I decided to create a wash over Wednesday Adams and I'm using this Schmincke watercolour paint and it's in Payne's Grey Bluish which I thought would be a really nice tone to add as the wash underneath. I'm an absolute sucker for colours like this, I absolutely adore them so I thought this was my chance to use it yet again and it was such a nice paint to use. I really really enjoyed it and I've just purchased this one so if you haven't seen my Jackson's haul I will link that one in the description I bought this paint as part of that haul and I'm so glad that I bought that paint and I'm really looking forward to creating more artwork with it once I built up that base layer I then thought I would maybe focus on the hair first of all before then working my way down. I added more of that paint's grey to darken it up and also try and get a little bit of a highlight in with some of my polychromos which worked okay. I quite like some of the textures that I got into the hair with those paints but then I started working on the face and I started building in a few of my alcohol markers for some dark tones and then building up using my Faber-Castell polychromo pencils just to add in additional details. I have to admit she does look somewhat smurf like maybe even avatar-esque but I am loving it so far. I do really enjoy using blue art materials and it's something that I have used quite a lot of even as far back as when I was working on my GCSEs all those years ago I did have a slight obsession with blue even back then. It's something that's been with me for quite a long time. I would say the most used medium on this piece would be my colouring pencils. I did use colouring pencils quite a lot for this and there are a few art materials maybe that I neglected whilst I was creating this piece. I just didn't reach for them, I didn't instinctively think I wanted to use them so they did get a little bit neglected and they didn't make an appearance in this art piece. However, I might try and do something like this again and try and include them within a larger piece of artwork. Because I'm working on a small scale in my sketchbook, I felt like it was slightly more limited but I think if I were to use a big canvas I could maybe get in lots more different art materials. I would be able to create a piece of artwork on a larger scale and use way more of these materials than I could in this piece. I really enjoyed using the Derwent Ink Tense pencils on this piece. They gave a really nice dark intense blue for the hair and also within the dress. I think that they really added a nice depth to this piece whereas some of the art materials I was using they were just sitting on the surface and they didn't really um, blend in or work as well with the art materials or as well as I was hoping them to but I really enjoyed using those ink tense pencils as part of a mixed media piece. So if you haven't got those in your toolkit definitely definitely try and get yourself a set I really really have enjoyed using them I've only tried them a few times but I really enjoyed using them for this piece I would say the area that I struggled on the most is the hands I found the hands 
quite difficult to get the tones correct but I kept pushing through I didn't stop on the piece despite the fact that I was not happy with the hands so hands for me is something I definitely need to practice it's just something I need to work on and get better at so I might do a few sketchbook pages based just on hands in different positions and try and improve my skills with those one of the areas of this piece of artwork that I was really looking forward to working on is those sort of puff sleeves and I was really intrigued on how I could build those up to make them look a little bit transparent and give them that sort of ruffled texture. I layered up watercolour for this but also outlined some of the edges of that sort of organza with a blue fine liner and I think this worked really really well. I really enjoyed getting this texture and those layers in together with my watercolour and the pen work and I'm so pleased with the results for this. I will rework over those puff sleeves a little bit later on in the video but overall this was one aspect of the drawing that I am really happy with and I have had a really good time just switching out and trying lots of different art mediums all on one piece of artwork. I would highly recommend trying limiting yourself to just one type of colour for an art piece to see what you can come up with and how you can use those different art materials. I found this so much fun. I really enjoyed the process of this art piece. If you think I should try some more of these challenges in my videos and let me know in the comments and let me know what you think I should draw and with what colour. One of the art materials that I was not expecting to enjoy using on this was actually oil pastels but I found them really useful to add in highlights especially on the hair once the piece has sort of come to a stage where it needed lifting up a little bit more. The light blue oil pastel was a really good way to lift the drawing and add those highlights back in especially on the hair and then I used the darker blue with the light blue in the background of Wednesday Adams because I thought this would be a much better use of the page rather than just leaving it completely plain. So I wanted to add more depth to the piece so I used the oil pastels and I quite liked the finish with the oil pastels, how it looks slightly scratchy and it just gives the piece a little bit more texture. This was a really fun piece of artwork to create and I really enjoyed the entire process of this. So if you would like to see more of these one colour challenges let me know in the comments. Leave a suggestion on what you want to see me draw and with what colours and I will try and make that happen. If you have enjoyed today's video please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye guys